Hi guys this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music in this bass guitar lesson we are going to learn how to play the incredible queen classic another one bites the dust so i'm going to talk about all the theory the chords being used and how the bass serves the song well and how you can count the riff before you even play it you need to know how to count it where the beats lie where are the positions of the notes and so on and so forth so i hope you're going to enjoy this lesson as much as i did preparing for it and making it on youtube so if you like the lesson at the end of watching it of course do consider hitting the like button leaving us a comment with what you thought maybe you have something else you'd like to learn leave that also in the comment and there's a subscribe button with a bell for regular notifications do consider hitting that somewhere close to where you're watching this video maybe right there so do consider giving it a click now we also have notation for pretty much anything i teach which is waiting for you on our patreon channel and as this is a guitar lesson you will also have the tabs so if you don't read sheet music you can use the tabs and <clears throat> there's also midi if you'd want to import it into any other daws or other softwares to learn it in a more fancy way now there are a lot of intricacies with this baseline so i figured i'll you know try and teach you every part i'll teach you the intro of the song which which is before freddy of course starts singing then i will teach you the verse and then the chorus where you just go another one bites the dust para boom okay so it's a very famous baseline the moment you hear boom boom you kind of know oh yeah it's that song you know now there are a lot of baselines which start like that but this one's really famous so i'm sure you know it So let's get cracking. First of all, the scale. The scale of this particular piece of music is on the F minor scale, which is the relative minor of the A flat major scale. A flat has four flats, namely B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. And the chords used in the song are generally going to be on the A flat major scale. or more specifically the f minor scale but there are a lot of non diatonic chords which are also used in this song so i'm going to walk you through and i'll tell you which are the chords which you need to be aware of and which are those spicy chords which queen use which make it you know the hit it is okay so first off it's on f minor so the first chord and most of it's going to be rooted on f minor you'll have an occasional B flat which is a B flat minor so that serves as a nice 4 to 1 what we call as a plagal cadence in music the 4 to 1 and coming to the riff immediately then we look at the chords so let's look at the basic riff which is used in the intro and the whole song da da dum pom pom da da dum pom pom okay now when we go pom 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 we need to count that so I generally like to follow a strategy when I'm transcribing a bass line or anything in music. First of all, in this case it's a bass line, so identify if there's a pickup, if there's anything which goes or precedes the bar, which in this case there is one, right? Pa ba bom pom. When the drummer kicks in, the bass guitar plays something before him. So pa ba bom ba ba bum so there is a pickup in this song so yes there is a pickup so you ask yourself okay what is the pickup what is it doing at which point in the bar is it then the next question you need to uh, un, uh, you know argue or figure out is how much is the beat being divided by in this particular song the beat is divided into four units so the way you count is para one yen a two yen a three yen a four yen a one yen a two yen a three and you could superimpose this by just singing the riff para one yen a two yen a three yen a four yen a one yen a two yen a three yen a four and a one yen a two yen a three sounds a bit silly but it's very important para one yen Two e and a three and a four e, a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e, a one e and a two e. So as you can see, I'm whispering the beats which are not played by the riff or in the riff, and I'm shouting out or I'm saying the hit points. So that helps me 
understand subconsciously and consciously where I should write it. So I'd also encourage you to get a pen and paper out so you can write down one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Of course, this is a four by four song that also you need to figure out. Never know it could be five by four or seven by four like money or five by eight like the Mission Impossible theme and so on. So. When you're transcribing this, get a pen, paper. You can even transcribe it without actual notation. You can just write one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a. You will find my handwritten notes for it as well. You can follow along. So pick up one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a four e and a. So it's the and a of the four. Para boom, boom, boom. So you're in luck there. Para one. E and a. Two e and a three. It's just one, two, three where you do staccato. F and a one, and a one. So and a one e and a two e and a three. And a, and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and. Okay then. But a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a. Uh. So now it comes in at the a uh of the four, which is another kind of an anticipation for the next bar, a cycle. But a one e and a two e. Three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three, a one e, a one e, a one e and a two e and a. It ends at the the a uh of the two, so you need to catch these notes. You can't be guessing. So one way I like to kind of check whether I'm on the money as a bass player would be to move my head and be able to play the same groove with the same vigor. You know. And while doing that, I also like to have this imaginary shaker person, which is next to me. I'd also encourage you to have like a ghost drummer friend if you can uh, become his or her friend. But an imaginary shaker is a bit easy because it's just going to do. <laughs> Keep the drums also at the back of your head if possible. The, the kick and the snare, right? And now coming to those uh, division hit points in bar two. I hope bar one is clear. That was pick up before bar one. And a uh, of the four. And a uh, one. E, and a uh, two. E, and a uh, three. E, and a uh, four. E, and a. Uh. Of the four of the bar one, and then it goes to uh, bar two. A uh, one e and a two e and a. Uh. A uh, one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and a uh, one. The same and of the four which we did to start the phrase will again start the phrase or start the loop. So let's try and get the loop in play. Para boom chika boom chika boom chika pa pa boom 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 pa boom. Let me help you count the divisions in the hit points at the bar two now. So, a one e and a two e and a again. A uh, of the four, a uh, one e and a uh, one e and a uh, meaning at the halfway point of the beat one one e and and is half e is twenty five percent of the beat a uh, is seventy five percent of the beat so uh, one e and one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and a uh, one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three. E and and a uh, so don't forget that a uh, okay one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two chicka boom chicka pack boom boom ba boom boom chicka pack two do boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka ba boom 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 ba boom chicka boom chicka okay so this is essentially the bass line let me slow that down and count that. Try and play along with me if you can. If you're on a piano, maybe you could still play along or any instrument really. Para one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two. 
we started with the F on the first fret of the E string. And then A flat I'm accessing here with the fourth fret of the E string. And the notes you're playing are F, A flat and B flat. All notes of the F minor scale. Ba -ba -bum, bum -bum 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 -bum, for the most part. Ba -de -de -bum -bum. Ba -bum -bum -ba -ba -bum. This is pretty much the bass line used in the entire song, but there are a few more variations which I'm very excited to show you. So the variation in the verse, let me just play through the verse and come to that specific point. So the bass line pretty much happens throughout the verse and the chorus for the verse part. Uh, you play the same bass line. Steve walks very down the street, which is brimple way down low. Okay, dun 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 And Freddie is singing pretty much the same bass line. Dun 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 He's highlighting the same bass note. So you don't have to play... You don't have to play the melody. The bass line would be... Two rounds of that F line. And you don't have to do the pickup during the verse. That's not needed in the original at least. So pum 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 pararadam stop pum 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 pararadam. Now the chords used there are F minor pa pum 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 B flat minor seventh or yeah B flat minor seventh would be the chord again F minor pa pum 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 pa B flat minor seventh. Then it goes. A really weird chord, G sharp minor, which is It's not at all part of the scale, but it just happens really well with this line. So let me just walk you through that. So it's a G sharp minor seventh chord, which just magically works with with an with a diatonic bass line pum pum pa -da -da -da. so how am i doing that d flat d flat on two eighth notes pum pum staccato pum pum pa one e and two e and a three e and a four e and a. at the four you play the lower a flat pum 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 so first time it's a bit tricky where we go Pum pum pa da 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 da. Pum pum pa da da da. Pum 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 pa da de dum. Pum pum second time. Pum pum pa da de da. That's D flat going to E flat, and then just the A flat. Earlier we did pum pum pa da da da. We hit the higher octave and then the lower one. Second time is just the lower one. Whole thing again. Second bar. Pa -da -de -da. Third bar, ditto to first bar. Pum pum. Pa -da 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 -da. And then we end with a B flat minor going to a C minor seventh, wherein you could go first fret of the A string. Pum pum. Pa -da -de. Pum pum. Pa -da -de. Now the, the hits are very interesting. One E and a two E and a three. One E and and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E. That'll be the E of the 4. So at these E's and the ers, I would encourage you to feel a sense of shock or excitement or chaos happening because if you don't feel that from within, you're not going to feel that that movement, that rhythmic, natural body movement. And ultimately, when a fan or a listener who just wants to enjoy this song, hears this groove, you just feel like moving, dancing and those sort of things, right? So you as a player need to give it out to your audience. Give You need to be physically engaged with the song, right? You can't just be counting in a very studious way. So try to move your head with the pulse whenever you play. Feel the divisions. See, I'm moving my head and my leg is also moving, which you can't see, but that's happening. So you don't compromise on moving the body while you play a bass line. Uh, notes here and there will be a bit messy, but that can always be fixed through 
practice so again coming to this uh, pre chorus if you will pom ting ting de da de ro tung tung de 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 so it's always a whack on the on of the four isn't it tung tung and a starting uh two notes which is at the one and the end of the one pum pum pa da da di tum pum pum pa da di ro third bar pum di ru ru di ta and now the turn around pum pum pa re di one e and a two e and a three e and a four e the e of the four pum 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 pa di pum 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 pa di pa pum Bam. back to the chorus or the verse depends on the structure of course so whole verse and Okay, coming to the last part of the song, which you kind of ninety percent know, but there's a small articulation at the end which we we have to learn. So, chorus. Another one bites the dust. Same thing. Another one bites the dust. And then ba 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 ba. You do the pick up there. So after the second uh, cycle phrase ba 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 ba. Another one ba another one ba ba ba. And then the turn around of the chorus would be a G minor of all the chords coming into the F minor. It's almost making it like a Dorian song, you know, which has an F minor and then a two minor, which makes it a bit of a Dorian borrowed chord feel. So there's a lot of interesting harmonic content going on. Maybe we should talk about that in a future lesson. But this is more about the bass line and how you can count and play it. So uh, the three rounds of in the chorus. Another one, but pick up now. Last time, bam, ba 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 ba, bam, ba ba. Okay, how did I do that? That's one e and a two e of the two. One e and a two e and a three and a four e and a. One e and a two e and a three and a four e again. One e and a two e and a three and a four e and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a. So I hit that A flat at the four of the bar. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four one. The chorus you hit the A flat at the on beat. As opposed to the verse, where there's ba ba, okay, the e or the ers, the sixteenth hits. So that is another one bites the dust. We've looked at the intro, which is the pickup. Then we looked at the verse, which is pretty much the same groove, but then it had that uh, that groovy uh, pre-chorus. pick up or the turn around back to the chorus and then the end of the chorus 3 pum pa da da pum pum pa pa if you read sheet music or tabs or you want to get the hang of it this is a very easy song to go by and uh, i've also hand written some notes to make sure you will get it you just have to count the way we've been counting in the class so uh, just get yourselves a copy it's all waiting for you in patreon basically there's a link in the description click on it it'll take you there and you don't just get the another one bites the dust baseline you're going to get a lot more i also do piano music theory ear training composition and a lot of other topics like production as well on the channel so do consider heading over to patreon and if you like the channel patreon will be a nice supplementary resource for just $5 a month to to learn very well with pretty much whatever we will be teaching on our youtube portal 
right guys thanks a ton for watching if you like the lesson do give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and hit the subscribe don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any notifications when we do a lesson or go live which we do as well and that's about it cheers catch you in the next one